in this lesson we are going to learn about phases okay so just pay a little more attention in this lesson because this is a very important concept and if you know it well you pretty well know all of your ac circuits okay so try to understand this and pay a little more attention in this particular lesson okay so let's just say i have a voltage v1 which is equal to 20 cos omega t minus 45 degrees okay let's just say i have another voltage v2 which is equal to 10 sin omega t plus 60 degrees okay just realize if you have a cos term then also your voltage is essentially a sinusoidal voltage okay you know your cos of theta is basically sin of 90 minus theta right or in other words your cos of omega t is equal to sin of 90 minus omega t okay now sin of 90 minus omega t can be written as sin of minus of omega t minus 90 right now we know sin of minus theta is equal to minus sin theta right so this is minus sin omega t minus 90 degrees okay so your cosine term can always be converted into a sine term okay so essentially this guy is a sinusoidal voltage okay and your sign term can also be converted into a cosign term right just see your sign theta is basically cos of 90 minus theta okay now cos of 90 minus theta can be written as cos of minus of theta minus 90 okay which is equal to cos of theta minus 90 because i know cos of minus theta is equal to cos theta itself okay so anywhere you have sin omega t you can always convert it into cos of omega t minus 90 okay so your sin term can always be converted into a cos term and your cos term can always be converted into a sin term okay so if you want to go from sin to cos you use this formula and if you want to go from cos to sin you use this formula okay now let's just say i want to add these two voltages okay i want to find out what is v1 plus v2 okay had this been a dc voltage then i would have simply made a sum of these okay had v1 been 10 volts and v2 been 20 volts then v1 plus v2 would simply have been 30 volts okay but this is ac voltage okay in order to add them i have to use my trigonometry okay so basically what you want to do is you want to get your v1 plus v2 which is going to be equal to 20 cos omega t minus 45 plus 10 sin omega t plus 60 okay so i want to express this as a sinusoidal voltage okay currently it is sum of two sinusoidal voltage i want to express it as a sinusoidal voltage which looks something like this okay vrm cos of omega t plus alpha r okay so i want to express v1 plus v2 as this where this is the peak value of the sum of these two voltages okay and this is the phase of my resultant voltage v1 plus v2 okay just remember whenever you have a voltage given like this okay in the form of omega t plus alpha okay then alpha is known as the phase of that voltage 